Stevie's. Miss Stevie here again, heading into work again. So I thought this would be a good time to take you with me. I hope everybody is having a fantastic week. I know I am because even though work may be stressful, I've gotten to ride my bike two days in a row now. And I can guarantee it, <laughs> Stevie's gonna be jealous. That's okay, he's working hard in the fields until they are done harvesting. So guys, yesterday I left you with like a little cliffhanger. <laughs> it's not the most awesome thing to discuss, but I still wanted to bring it up because I know I am not the only one out there in the world that suffers from depression. So I'm just gonna say it. Um, Depression runs in my family and I am not scared to admit when I need help um, and it's it's a very hard subject for many to discuss but I think the more that we discuss it and we put it out there more are going to maybe come forward actually not maybe I know they'll come forward because they know that well so-and-so goes through depression and they don't just let it go they do something about it so if I could help save one more life um, I will freely talk about it um, many of you that do know me and Stevie can attest to this too I might be a person that shares maybe a little too much um, I am an open book if you want to know something you just ask me and I will bluntly tell you <laughs> um, that can be something I maybe need to work on or that's just me. So I guess it depends who I'm talking to too because I'm not gonna just tell a stranger, but um, I guess that's just me though. If you wanna know something, just ask and I'll tell you whether or not you wanna hear it because <laughs> you asked. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you an honest answer. But um, so yeah, I think when I started having kids is when it really affected me because you know the hormones go crazy and um, I was a single parent for five years um, with our oldest and not to get into all of that detail but I went through postpartum depression really bad but I did not know what it was because nobody in my family had experienced it before my biological mother was not in my life at that time, so I could not ask her about it. And, you know, I didn't really mention it to my dad. I kind of just kept it to myself. And I probably should not have done that because I don't remember a lot of the first year um, of my son's life because I wasn't there um, emotionally, if that's a thing. Um, I was there physically, and I was a good mother, I feel, um, but I did not understand why I was feeling the way I was feeling. I just kind of coped with the idea that I was a single parent, and this is just something you go through. But it is not <laughs> normal for people to go through this. Um, a lot of women do go through with it, but men go through with it as well, too. A couple years later when my biological mother passed away I went into a deep depression then um, I did go into the doctor I did talk to somebody about it and I did get on something to help me get through that I was only on it the medication for a couple years um, before I decided that I think I want to try weaning myself off of it and I did at the time and I was fine but you know I don't think that pills are always the option. I think there's other ways of getting through coping with this. I mean, of course, counseling is number one, and it might not be the first medication that will help you either. Uh, I was on several medications before I could find the one that actually worked for me. So, I mean, it doesn't mean that you have to be on medication the rest of your life, but then again, sometimes it does, and that is okay because you are protecting yourself. So don't be afraid to get help don't 
be afraid to reach out to somebody. Just tell somebody. And if you don't have anybody to talk to, Instagram me. I will talk to you because I care. And I've been through it. Also went through it again with my second child. At that point, I knew kind of what I was dealing with and what I was going through and experience just from the past. So I did get on medication right away. Um, Stevie hadn't been around that before, so he kind of wasn't sure what to expect. But, you know, after talking to him and exhausting all the other options of getting help, he was right there with me. He was stand stood by my side and he helped me get through it. Uh, I went to the doctor, got on some medication again. And then after that, I decided to go a different route with another doctor in Lincoln, Nebraska, which was called um, transbranial therapy of some sort. And I can put it in, the, in a link so you guys can see what it is, but it's with magnets and there's 32 sessions that you go through. And that like worked like greatly. I mean, I was off my medication right away after that. Um, and I felt like I was unfogged. If anybody out there has been on medication before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. When you're on medication, you feel like you're in like this fog and you cannot get out of it. But that fog was like totally lifted once I went through all that, those sessions with those magnets. So that's what worked for me. Gave my life back to me. And uh, if it could help anybody else, that would be great. Can I still go through times here and there where I get down in the dumps? Anyway, I don't want to be like a Debbie Downer or anything, but this is real life, folks. And uh, Stevie asked me to take over this month, so you might get some, <laughs> some stuff that you might not want to hear, but I am just being honest with y'all, and I hope, uh, hope you're okay with it. <laughs> Sometimes that's a touchy subject for many people, but like I said before, I'm not afraid to touch on the subject, especially if it's gonna help somebody else um, in the process of going through the same thing that I did. You know, guys, I love fall for the colors that change it, the change of the trees and all the different colors, but I do not like to be cold. And that is one thing that I do not look forward to every winter because I know seasonal depression sets in for a lot of people, including myself. So there's that too. And with me being home 24 seven, that's probably not gonna help either. But this year will be different than every other year because I don't normally work remote. So this will be the first for me. Ooh, look at the pretty trees. Look at that one. That is so pretty. This is a street I always go down in the fall in Lincoln because usually all of these trees are hanging over the road and they're the same colors as you just saw, but for some reason they are not right now. That's weird. So weird. Linker. Thank you. These trees are pretty over here too. It's like the only thing I like about fall. I do not like cold weather. I think I've said that five million times. I think you guys get it by now, huh? So I just looked and Stevie is still working and it is almost seven o'clock. Ooh, I have a feeling it's gonna be a little chilly. I feel like something is on my face. And I think it's just a piece of hair, or that's what I'm gonna tell myself anyway. I don't know if you can see that sunset. It's starting to go down. Oh, I love sunsets. That's another thing that you probably don't know about Miss Stevie. Some of my favorite things are the sunrise and the sunset because they are always different no matter what. God paints the sky a different way each and every night and I absolutely love it and think it's a blessing. And I'm so thankful for it, <laughs> even with all that. I don't see very many sunrises because I am not a morning person 
and I have a feeling that there's a few more people out there that are not morning people. But by saying that, I do prefer to leave very early in the morning compared to leaving later in the, e in the morning because then you have that much day left to ride or to spend with your friends and your family when you get to your destination. Come on, buddy, it is 65. What are we doing? It, they're going 50. I think that's fantastic that you're turning. So guys, I am going to do a summary real quick. Please, if you ever are down in the dumps or depressed, talk to somebody. Don't let it go. Always talk to somebody. People love you. You matter. And I think you matter if you don't think you matter. So with that being said, get some help. Know that you're not the only one in the world that goes through these things. And if you like this video, push that like button. If you want to hear more, hit the subscribe button. And then also hit that bell notification so you know when I load up next time. And until next time, stay cool and I will see you.